lot of people know you guys did some additional photography on uh, Dark Phoenix. I think a lot of people want to know uh, what you did. And so can you reveal or talk about what actually you guys did, what you wanted to punch up in the movie? And also, I just want to say on camera, every movie has additional photography. This is not some radical thing that just this movie is doing. Right. Every movie does this. Every big movie. I mean, I think there's some, some movies that don't do it, but I think any movie that has scale and, mm -hmm. frankly, um, the wherewithal uh, uh, financially to do it, the support of the studio to do it, um, does it. And one thing that, one of the many things that um, that Marvel Studios does so brilliantly is they build into their budgets a reshoot period because I think it's the same way the, that writing a screenplay is an iterative process where you're writing draft after draft. It, it makes sense the way that Marvel does it, the way that Pixar does it, that actually making the movie is an iterative process as well. So you're learning as you're making the film, you're learning as you're editing the film what it needs. So what we did is when we went up to shoot um, in Montreal is um, mostly we focused on the third act, um, both emotionally and in terms of the physical scale and the action of the third act, we, we, we adjusted. And then there were certain things in the first two acts of the movie, very, very few things, but to set up those changes in the third act, we had to adjust some things in the first two acts um, so that that all uh, was fluid and felt and consistent. was yeah consistent designed. Um, was it? Uh, uh, I guess my question is: it, a lot of people wanted to know like how long were you up there and how long the reshoots? So it was like a week or two, two or three. It was uh, two and a half weeks of first unit photography. Yeah. Sure. And so here's a big question, which I also I want to know this. You release the trailer and then like a day later announce a, a date change. How did that not get figured out the day before before the trailer is going to drop? Well, it probably should have. Um, uh, some of the trailers had come in soon on them and some of them said February 14th. Um, it was a date, February 14th, that we initially liked for the movie, but when we realized that um, we weren't going to have the visual effects ready to uh, release it globally the way we wanted to and the Gambit date, um, as you mentioned earlier, opened up because it wasn't going to be ready for that June uh, 7th date. We looked at that date versus the February 14th date, the studio did and we did. Um, we felt like that June date was a bigger opportunity for us globally. More screens, more IMAX screens, a better chance um, to play in China um, where these movies have a massive following. What we found when we released the trailer was that 44, 45 million views of the trailer were in China alone. In um, 24 hours, and that and that was a notable benchmark for Fox. Yeah. Um, and also, as much as we tend to think that only in terms of Dark Phoenix, for Fox, they had other issues they were looking at and wanting to figure out the best circumstances for. So, you know, it wasn't just our film, but also, I think they moved... Um, they moved everything. So they yeah, moved, they Deadpool moved, moved Alita, Alita moved on Alita. to us, we moved on to Gambit, Gambit moved to the following year. These sort of domino effects happen on movies. Um, but specific for us, it was, um, you know, it is an opportunity to be uh, a bigger movie day and day globally. Yeah. I was, I was going to say, because with that push, so you are going to try, it's probably a day and date around the world. Yeah. For, and all, that also, also helps with piracy. Yeah. Yes. That, well, that, that is true. And in certain territories, that's the truest. Yeah. You know? um, and that's, that's the reason for day and date. And it's, it's, it's definitely something that, while it wasn't ideal that came the day after they released, the, the teaser, it was something that as we all looked at it, particularly in light of the China information, but the, the global release all being allowed to live much more um, coherently was, was the big, big attractive. And also, and, and, and in terms of the, the trailer release, it certainly probably shouldn't have said 214 on it, but the audience, and certainly I know this because I live online as much as anybody, um, people wanted to see something from the movie and it was time to show something from the movie. So I would have still released a teaser yeah. when we released it. I just would have put coming soon on the end of it or I would have put June 7th, though we hadn't really had made that decision. Yeah. Um, uh, until 